All right, so today I'm going to show you how to change the IP address uh, on the second network adapter using a local administrator account that we have installed on these systems. First of all, locate the My Computer icon on your desktop. I moved mine over here. Right click on it, select Properties. This brings up all the system information. I was going to move it down a little bit. Part of this is the computer name. Yeah. These will be different for every single machine. So be sure to not copy this exact one. Uh, so now we have this. We want to keep this open in the background. We're going to go down to the bottom right hand corner. There we look for the network icon. There could be a little plug on desktops. On laptops it might be a wireless symbol, those five bars you see. Right click on them. Select Open Network and Sharing Center. This brings up a different window. I'm just going to move it up so I can still see the computer name in the background. Move over to Change Adapter Settings. Click on it. Then locate the local area connection that either reads Network Cable Unplugged or Network Unidentified. Depends on if you're plugged in or not. Right click on this connection. Select Properties. This will bring up a user account control. This is where you have to type in the local computer name exactly the way it's shown here. And I'm going to do this. Mine is MA1123 44870 I. Then we put a backslash there and we enter the local administrator account which is Rockwell R-O-C-K-W-E-L-L -L. then we type in the password which I will share with you in class all lowercase we click yes this brings up the local air connection 2 properties in here we find the internet protocol version 4 select properties and here, when you first open this, most likely it will look like this with all these buttons grayed out. By default, they get assigned automatically. We want to change it to use the following IP address. Type in the IP address that you uh, defined. I'm going to use 192.168.1.101. Be sure to press the tab key that fills in the subnet mask, which has to be 255. 255.255.0 then click OK and close and that's how we change the IP address on computers in order to connect to any Rockwell automation hardware thank you mm -hmm.